This LeBron James highlight went for more than $200,000. Trend that's taking the celebrity world by storm. What's also special is that it's so-called NFT. And instead of a house you can live in, you're now the proud owner of a JPEG. Mm -hmm. A way of owning digital owning NFTs, the controversial digital art craze. NFTs are NFT for non-fungible tokens, and uh, this is a uh, an NFT simply of a JPEG of an economist chart. I don't even know what that means. Those crazy little pieces of digital art, for example, trading for millions of dollars. Talking about NFT as a genre. What is an NFT? We've all heard the crazy, and I've seen way too many board apes over the years. Trading in NFT spiked at 21,000% to almost $17 billion in 2021. People have spent more than $230 million buying and trading digital collectibles of NBA highlights. An NFT sold for $6.6 .6 million and Jack Dorsey's first tweet blowout sale. Hey everyone, Ken Alfred here. Welcome to Lone Star Plus, and today we're going to uncover the mysteries of the NFT. Stay tuned. You're watching the Lone Star Plus channel. <music> NFTs, non-fungible tokens, are not interchangeable, which means each of them represent a unique asset owned by a specific person. They cannot be divided into smaller units. This is exactly why they're so valuable. Fungible tokens are interchangeable and can be divided into smaller units that make up the same total value. An example of a fungible token is Bitcoin, which can be traded and divvied into many different ways. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are fungible or interchangeable. You can swap one Bitcoin for another and still have the same value. Same as cash. $200 in cash can be divided into two $100 bills or four $50 bills. You can't do that with an NFT. They are non-fungible and unique assets. They link to the media they represent, providing an irrefutable digital certificate of ownership. The invention of the blockchain and the rise of Ethereum provided a market and a means of exchange for NFTs, which laid the foundation for crypto enthusiasts and digital creators like Kevin McCoy, a digital artist and pioneer partnered with Anil Dash, CEO of Glitch, in 2014 to successfully mint the first NFT at a conference. And this provided proof of concept for other digital artists and creators to join the space and the NFT boom began. The most popular marketplace for buying and selling NFTs is OpenSea. OpenSea was founded by Alex Atala and Devin Feinzer in 2018. OpenSea, often dubbed the eBay of NFTs, is the largest trading platform in the space that enables users to buy and sell NFTs. The marketplace allows users to track the top trading collections and the top traded NFTs in the marketplace with all the prices and daily statistics attached. All right, Ken, you sold me on the NFT. I'm going to start buying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Take a step back. Here is a warning you have to take into consideration. The NFT is still very new and is still developing. The marketplace is fairly new and highly susceptible to fraud and deception. There are many cases of fake projects, wash trading, and most notable of all, market manipulation. To be truly successful in trading NFTs, you have to be highly educated, experienced, and well-informed in the field. You gotta know your stuff. Also, you have to have a high risk tolerance with your investment capital because of possible market volatility. So before you invest your money, make a budget, know your risk tolerance, and speak to those who invested in NFTs. And while you're at it, ask them the following questions. How much would you start up capital? How would you decide on what NFTs to start investing in? Who would you talk to before you start it? What is the value of your current NFT portfolio? And how much growth have you seen? Year over year, month over month, quarter over quarter. What is your exit strategy? Buy and hold forever? Or once your NFT hits a certain value, are you then gonna sell? So please exercise caution before jumping in. NFTs are more than just computer codes of weird art and cartoon apes. They come alive in a universe that is designed with them in mind, the metaverse. Top publications like Bloomberg predicts massive growth in the metaverse industry in the coming years. NFTs can be used in virtual games in the form of digital art, skins, virtual items, and collectibles, even virtual properties in real estate. 
there are infinite possibilities and implementations of NFTs in the metaverse, and this is very promising for innovation and the growth in the sector. We've seen how the conception of NFTs has innovated the arts industry for digital artists, giving them a means to profit from their work and providing them a means for them to track its history while verifying the authenticity of their artwork and its ownership. The major victory from the rise of NFTs is the concept of verifying ownership of anything digitally through blockchain technology. This is fundamental to the future. The ability to verify ownership of properties digitally can be seen as a shift of deeds of real estate properties like homes be stored and tracked digitally or government-issued documents on a blockchain, like passports or IDs, or having certificates, awards, patents, tickets, invoices, and so on. Ultimately, NFTs are here to stay, and they have a lot more to offer in the world in innovation, technology, and of course, memes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to drop a comment, give a thumbs up, and subscribe, and help the channel grow. Click on that notification button and stay tuned for more videos. Ken Alfred here. See you on the next one. You're watching Lone Star Plus.